Hey church, welcome to uh, Testimony Tuesday. It's great that we can connect again uh, in this way. I've got Jesse Condren with me and we're going to be hearing uh, a bit of his story uh, just a little bit later and what, and what God's been doing in his life. But hey, I just want to take this opportunity, a big welcome to you um, as we connect again, whether you're at home, uh, around the TV, on the couch, whether you're uh, at, at working from home on your, your computer, whether you're around the coffee table. Just a, a huge uh, welcome to you. As I said, got Jesse here. And uh, Jesse, the teenagers have been doing uh, something different for term one. And uh, do you want to tell us w- w- what's that all about? Youth, uh, youth something, I don't know what it is. What is it? Uh, youth Alpha. So every Sunday night, um, about 13 of us will carpool up to Langatha and we'll go there and like have some games with like all these other youth um, groups from around that area. And we'll like have games, have dinner, and um, then we'll watch a video um, and I'll have like questions and then we'll get in our age groups and like discuss on those questions and like, yeah, yeah go deeper. Mm. Hey, so, so firstly, it's really exciting. The 13 of our teenagers have been heading across there. But so, is, so how many how many teenagers are there on a, on a Sunday night, Jesse? So probably about 50 or like 40 to 50. Yep. Wow, yep. that's awesome. So 50 teenagers. And so was this a, a once-off event or what was, was this event? Tell me about... You know, uh, yeah, yeah. So this term we've like had seven weeks of like going up every Sunday just up there. So seven of them. Yeah. Wow, seven weeks. And what what so uh, in seven weeks you've been getting together and so I mean you sort of touched on it, but what what does a normal uh, night at Youth Alpha look like? Yeah. So we'll head up there, sign in, um, just like talk around, like meet some new people, and then we'll have dinner with everyone, um, talk more, and then we'll have some games like just lighten the mood. And then um, we'll watch a video in our age groups, so like year 11, 12s and stuff. And then they'll have different questions and like they'll interview different people from society, like their, what their thoughts on it. And then we'll yeah. have our own like yeah. discussion time. Yeah. So is this, um, dis- when you say discussion, what are you discussing like dog training? Are you discussing, <laughs> you know, Beethoven's fourth concerto? Or what, what, is, what, are, what, are, what are you doing? It, it, yeah, yeah, so like... Every week we'll have like a different topic and it'll be something like related to the Bible. So it might be yeah. like evidence or like the Holy Spirit or like the devil or like yeah. it'll be different topics and wow. we'll just like discuss about it. Yeah. That's cool. So it's a, it's a group of, if I'm getting this right, a group of teenagers getting together and they're exploring their faith yeah. and you're wrestling with, with some of these issues. And uh, is, is that, that's all right? Yeah. yeah. I just think that's fantastic. Isn't it great that our teenagers have been getting together and, and wrestling with their faith? And uh, I just think, I, I guess, Jesse, I've got a few more questions for you, but what, um, what, has, what has grown you the most, or what has, what has God taught you over these, these seven weeks? Yeah, so uh, halfway through, we had a Youth Alpha camp where we went to Narina Hall and like, um, had two days there. Um, and something that uh, God taught me there was we were in a time of worship where we were just like singing songs and stuff, and um, I was praying heaps for one of my mates there that um, the Holy Spirit would come in him and fill him. So I was like, I just kept praying the same prayer. And um, then later on, Mark Patterson came and prayed for me, like about all this stuff. And um, yeah, after that, um, I just started crying like randomly. And I like felt like God had just given me like a really big hug. I just felt like so happy and just like enlightened. And then after that, I like looked to my left and my friend was there who I'd just prayed for um, before that. And he was just sitting there like, arms open, um, receiving the Holy Spirit, and that he just started like talking in tongues heaps, like it's cool. for ages, and it was like, it was so good to see, yeah. So what, what has God taught you, like out of, out of, you know, if you had to boil it all down, I know it's hard, I know you've, it's been a steep learning curve, um, but what, what is one thing that, that God has just really driven home to you through yeah. this whole Youth Alpha experience? Yeah, I think he's taught that um, it doesn't matter how big the event is or like how small it is, he's always there and you can always have an experience with him. Yeah. Like I've had other experiences like at huge events like uh, similar to that and it's like, oh yeah, it's like the mood, they've set it all for it. And it's like big, it like should happen. But when I was at this little camp, like going into it, I was sort of like, oh, nothing really will happen. But then it did, I'm like, oh, like I'm so dumb. Like God's everywhere. Like it makes sense. Yeah. It's good. Mm. It's good. Hey, so, has, so um, has Youth Alpha finished or is, you know, you've done seven weeks yep. or what's, what's, the, what's the story? Yeah, so it's been postponed and there's, I think there's two more weeks coming up, okay. but that, yeah. that will be further noticed to us. So, yeah. Okay. So if, if you were um, 
a, a teenager uh, at home and um, you're watching this, and, and would you recommend Youth Alpha to another teenager? Yeah, well, someone who's thinking about it, what would you say? Yeah, I'd be like, for sure, go. Like, you'll meet heaps of new friends, like people who are like you, the same age, and like have the same like beliefs as you. And yeah, um, yeah you just learn so much there, and yeah, it's really good. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, church, please. Um, Jesse's uh, in year 11, and uh, please be praying. Uh, for, for Jesse in, as he studies, but be praying for, for all our teenagers. Uh, we've got uh, a great youth group and uh, we've got some great leaders who give up the time. So please, please be just praying for them uh, this year and uh, as, as we build and build and build. We've got a lot of, as many of you know, we've got a lot of families in the church and it's coming through. So please, please be praying for our teenagers. Jesse, would you mind if I, I pray with you yeah. just now? Yeah, hey, let's, let's pray. Father, we just, uh, we thank you for Jesse. We thank you for his heart for you. We thank you for the things that you have been teaching him through Youth Alpha. We thank you for the leaders. We thank you for the way the churches are working together to run Youth Alpha and for the way that they have grown these 50, 60 teenagers uh, week after week. So, Father, we just pray uh, a blessing upon Jesse. And, uh, and we thank you for what you've been doing uh, in his life. We also pray for our youth group leaders, Lord. We want to see our teenagers... Uh, go deeper with you, uh, have strong faith that they can, that's going to carry them uh, in for the rest of their life. So, Father, we commit our teenagers, we commit Jesse to you, and uh, we just thank you for Youth Alpha. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, church, uh, once again, it's been great. I hope you've enjoyed Testimony Tuesday. Uh, I've got a great sermon coming up uh, just on Sunday, so stay tuned for that, uh, looking at how the world needs uh, help and uh, we uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a great one. All right, bye for now. Catch you soon.